Hey, I'm Sudhir from Accio, and today I'll be walking you through Accio's AI data platform. Accio is built for marketers and agencies, making it easy to predict outcomes, optimize for any KPI, and even white label or embed our tools into your existing platform. So let's dive in. In our previous video, we walked through how to clean and prepare this data. Let's now walk through how we can leverage natural language to generate actionable insights and live auto-refreshing reports and charts to show off to your clients. So here we have that same data set, right? So we have um, information here on campaign types, placement, device, ad type, and other metrics like spend, impression, CPM, CPC, all the way up to ROAS. And we wanna start asking questions on this data to understand what are the best performing ads, right? Based on spend or based on impressions or even based on ROAS, right? Are there some trends over time that we can see for particular campaign types that might be different right, for the last four weeks or last two months, based on our spend, for example. So to do that, let's hop over to our chat explorer. Now, this is our natural language-based chat engine, where we can go in, ask a, uh, a question in natural language or a prompt, and we will generate the insights for you. Okay, so here, let's ask a question to, to figure out how our spend or how our placement and our devices are impacted by spend. And so I'm gonna ask it a quick question, right? Show me report of spend by device for each placement. Now, what we're doing is we're taking that prompt and the metadata associated with that prompt, sending it over to our internally hosted LLM and generating results for you. So here, it gave us a nice bar chart showing us for each placement type, right? What is our total spend grouped by devices? And on average, we can see, you know, for certain placements like Facebook newsfeed, GDN and Instagram, we have a slightly higher spend for desktop than mobile. However, for Facebook audience network, it's slightly higher for mobile than desktop, right? So it's interesting. We might want to understand why this particular placement type is performing a little bit higher on mobile than it is on desktop. We might also want to look at, you know, the spend over time for different campaign types, right? We might want to understand or do some trend analysis to see if there's any peaks or valleys in certain time ranges that we might want to target or identify why. And so to do that, I'm gonna open up a previous chat history just for the interest of time where I've added in some of these prompts. So just show me spend by campaign type over time for the last four weeks. And we wanna look at that weekly and it gives us a nice line chart here showing that trend. Now we can see that retargeting is higher overall in terms of total spend than prospecting or CRM, but it's exhibiting the same trend. Now there's a dip here in that last week, which is really interesting. Right? We, want, we might want to understand why that dip is happening. Maybe there's some, you know, that week was incomplete in the data set, right? We have to understand this a little bit, but overall the trends are similar. We also might want to take this analysis, these charts um, and visualizations and understand, can you summarize, right? What's happening here? And that's really important, right? Because we want a textual summary that we can just copy and paste right, or understand more of the why. And so to do that is very simple in Chat Explorer, right? You can just ask it, write me a one paragraph summary comparing spend and conversions by device type. And it gives you a nice textual summary of, hey, the total spend on mobile devices was this amount. In comparison, the total spend on desktop, it was slightly higher. That's interesting, right? So this is something we can just copy and paste and use as a narrative, right? Of what's happening within our data set. Great. Now, how do I actually deliver this to my downstream clients, right? How did they get this value? And so there's a, a few ways where we can actually deploy or share these, you know, these results or these insights. One is to actually share out the chat interface itself that's connected up to the data. So here I can copy over a static um, endpoint that we generate. And I'm going to show you here a quick example of what this looks like. Right? So it's a URL that you can send where you have that history of your own analysis and you can have your client actually start to ask questions on this data right from here. Now you'll notice that the actual uh, engine is saying Sudir AI and there's actually a logo that's not Accio. I just put an Acme Corporation logo here. So this is something that you can white label as well. Right? So you can have your own name or your own company's name as the AI assistant as well as have your own company logo here and even change the domain name to not say app.accio.com, but your own company's domain or subdomain. All right, now another way 
that we can share this, right? It's not just the chat interface, but actually create those auto refreshing reports and dashboards. And so for each one of these visualizations, I can save these to reports. I'm not gonna do that now because I've already saved some. And here we can see those same visualizations in our own customized report. If we have live data connected up to a live data source, these reports will also update as the data set changes. Now you can start adding on to these more and more visualizations and tables. And when you're ready, we can go ahead and create our own customized dashboard where we can you know, select where we wanna put each chart in that dashboard, expand or, or shrink where you want this to be placed. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and share this out similarly to that chat endpoint, but this will be a dashboard. Now I wanna show you an example of an actual dashboard that we created here for the same data set, which is our campaign summary, which is a nice table summarizing our total spend, impressions, clicks, views, and then a little bit more of a drill down on the campaign performance over the last 30 days, the last seven days, the performance of our return ad spend, et cetera. Great. So you can see how quickly we were able to generate those actual insights and live auto-generated and refreshing reports and charts. In the next video, Great. So you can see how quickly we were able to generate actionable insights and live auto refreshing reports and charts. In the next video, we will build a predictive model around ROAS to understand some of the driving factors and add to our analysis. Thanks.